Hello, this is going to be lesson two, part B, and it's going to be multiplying um, polynomials, but something called FOIL. It's a special method that we use, okay? And we only use it when we do a binomial times a binomial. If you remember the previous lesson, we did monomial times a, a monomial, a monomial times a binomial. Now we're going to do a binomial, something that has two terms, multiplied by another uh, polynomial that has two terms. And to do that, we're going to use something called FOIL. FOIL is a strategy that stands for, F stands for first times first, O stands the outside terms times the outside terms, I stands for inside terms times inside terms, L is last term with last term. So let's see how we do this, okay? Basically here I have a binomial multiplied by a binomial. So basically what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw these two boxes, okay? And basically following FOIL, okay? F is for first times first, so x times x gives you x squared. So we're done with the F. And then O stands for the outside times the outside, and you're going to write on the outer box. So x times negative 5 is negative 5x. We're done with the O. And the I stands for the inside times the inside, so 2x times positive 2 times x is positive 2x. Now, once you do these two guys, the O and the I, you're going to combine it. Once you have these two numbers in the box, you're going to combine it. So, negative 5 plus 2 gives you negative 3x. And the last one is L, so it's less times less. 2 times negative 5 gives you negative 10. And that's how you multiply binomials using FOIL. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's try it again, see if um, we get this, okay? So I'm going to move you here. I'm going to draw two boxes, one connecting the last two terms and one connecting the two middle terms. I'm going to do FOIL, so FOIL stands for first times first, so x times x is x squared. And then the O, outside times outside, gives you negative 3x. And the inside gives you negative 7x, because negative 7 times x is negative 7x, and you put it in an inner box. Now that you have these two numbers, combine them. So this would be negative 7 times negative 3 is negative 10x. So we're done with these two. And the last one is the L, which stands for last times last. So negative 7 times negative 3 is positive 21. And that's my answer. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, I'm going to keep FOIL in mind. Draw my boxes. And first times first, so 5x times 10x is 50x squared. So the F is done. I'm going to do the O. 5x times negative 3 is negative 15x, so the O is done. 2 times 10x is positive 20x, so the I is done. Now I'm going to combine them. 20 minus 15 is positive 5x. So we're done with those two. And then I'm going to do the last. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And that's our answer. Whoops. Sorry, I cannot see it. So first times first is 50x squared. Less, I mean outside times outside gives you negative 15x. Inside times inside gives you 20x. Combine the two, gives you positive 5x. Last times less give you negative 6. Okay, let's do the next one. Next one what we're going to do is 3x minus 4 square is the same as 3x minus 4, 3x minus 4 written twice. Once we do that, we'll do our boxes. 
member foil. First, so first times first is 9x squared. And the outside, 3x times negative 4 is negative 12x. The inside, negative 4 times negative, uh, positive 3 is negative 12x. Now let's combine it. It gives you negative 24x. So those two are done. And let's do the L, which is last times last, which gives you negative 16. And that's our answer. Okay, so this concludes lesson 2, part B, multiplying polynomials using FOIL. Thank you very much for your time, and have a great day.